Last time we left you in the abandoned slate mines of North Wales. We made it! Double rainbow. <laughs> but this time you join us in a slightly different setting in South Wales in Pembrokeshire. So this trip's a little bit different for us. Um, we don't normally spend much time in Pembrokeshire. In fact, I think I've only ever been here two or three times in my life. Normally we're up in Snowdonia, in the mountains or in the beacons. But we had family down here that we came to visit. So we thought we'd make a nice weekend of it. And so far, it's absolutely beautiful down here. It's not as mountainous, but it's just green. It's nice. You can see the sea. People are friendly. It's actually really nice. Oh, look at me. I'm Zara. I'm important. I do work and stuff. Oh, keyboard. Oh. What are you doing? Looking at porn? Yes. Okay, I'll leave you to it. So we've just walked down to the beach now. Um, we came here last night when it was a little bit dark, so we couldn't really see just how amazing this place is. However, I'm just taken back by it. I'm just gonna show you what it is. So we're here, not going to attempt to pronounce any of this. And then there's another map over here. But I'll take you further down. And what we've got is a whole bunch of toilet facilities. There's nobody here either. It's completely empty. And then we've got a waterfall that runs down to the beach itself. It might not look much from here, but when you get further down, this place is absolutely incredible. The waterfall runs all the way down to the beach. And it starts off as a small waterfall like this, but when you get further down, it really opens up. The main thing that amazes me about these places that we come to, there's just never any people here. I can't even go to my local shop at home without there being about 20 or 30 people in the queue. And we're at this absolutely stunning beach waterfall surrounded by hills, wildlife, caves. We were seeing bats here last night and there's just nobody. I know it's a bit of a pain for people to get to and the population here is less, but you'd have thought, it's just, it blows my mind, it really does. Go on boy, get it. And welcome to the ADHD Hour with Matt. Pretty much back to the camp, left his lead at the beach. So half an hour later, I'm back here. I don't even know where it is. I'm gonna try and find it. Join us next time where I probably forget my leg or something like that. But now we're back at the beach. The beast has found his favorite stick. You tell it, my boy. I've never taught him go get your lead, but it's worth a try. I found it, it's on the rocks. Go get your lead. Kobe, go get your lead. Go get it, go get your lead. Go, go get it, go get your lead. Good boy, parkour. Go get your lead. Kobe, go get your lead. He has no idea what's going on. Parkour, parkour. telling Tony the other day, you know Tony right, what I was telling him the other day, Susie, I've never been very good at storytelling to be honest. random like shed hut thing the sign says milkshakes and it's painted like a cow and uh, we were a little bit like what the f is that so we stopped off and had a look and you make your own milkshakes with the local cow's milk welcome to the milkshake madness machine 
What are you going for oh, then? Oh, just milk. Well, what's all that in there then? Bottles for your milk. Oh, all right. I think Zara, do you want a milkshake? See how left. Oh. So to make a milkshake, purchase you have to your bottle or purchase purchase your bottle, fill your bottle with milk. Once your bottle is finished, use your two measures of the flavour of syrup. And these are the syrups. Mate, how cool is this? <laughs> this is a short, I reckon. How many idiots does it take to make a milkshake? You're about to find out. I reckon probably three, so we're not going to get one because there's only two of us. So this place is just like, well random. Really nice. It's well random. So you have to buy a bottle of milk or an empty bottle. Then you have to put it in here and it fills up with like natural farmer's milk because we're in the middle of like farmland heaven. Then you choose your flavour. Choose your flavour. cathedral in St David's um, and this place is just spectacular man but it's like sunk down in and from what I understand the reason it's been sunk down in is so that when the Vikings used to attack they wouldn't be able to see the cathedral from the coastline um, which I just think is just fantastic but yeah this place is incredible. What do you think of the cathedral then Zara? It's massive. Thank you. What do you think of the cathedral then Zara? It's really spectacular. Is it? Yeah. What do you like most about the cathedral then Zara? The ruins. The ruins. What about the river there, look? And the river. The ruins in the river? Yeah. And what else do you like about it? The bridge. The bridge, why? Because I like bridges. No, 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 why? Because it's better than Tunbridge. So, when this cathedral was built, um, basically the nuns had sometimes it was too far for them to walk so when they brought their push bikes they could actually mount their push bikes to the push bike thing and then they could just go be nuns and then if they weren't on the push bike they used to get chucked in the jail so so there's a bit of knowledge for you there is that true yeah okay i read it in the, uh, on the internet on wikipedia come on <laughs> Where do you want to drive us to? Why are you in bed? I don't feel well. <laughs> Why? Too much milkshake. Is it actually? Yeah. I don't feel good. Lesson learned. Don't down a whole litre of well, chocolate then milkshake. Then we are in St David's at the moment and we're currently doing an evening coastal walk. The sun is due to set in around 45 minutes. But these are our views absolutely stunning there's little islands everywhere people are saying that if we go down there in a minute we'll see some seals and bits hopefully so that will be good Kobe's already had a, a few walks today so he's absolutely knackered as are we but yeah this is it it's absolutely beautiful look at that behind me so I'm just cooking some dinner I've got some potatoes boiling for some mash and a beef bovignon oh it's steaming up the lens going on while this one is sitting there watching Murdered at First Sight. I'm not. Watching conspiracies about Project Bluebeam. You've got. You're a... watching that. I don't you... even know who these people are. Shut up. Yes, you do. What's his Ryan? Is it? Who's your Ryan? favourite couple? I don't even know what this is about. Why is the football not on? Put a muzzle on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guilty. I quite like this program. I more than quite like it. It's kind of my idea to put it on it. Morning. Morning. Just trying to sort my hair out. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well then what? Then I'm going to make some coffees. You've got to do the washing up first. Yeah, we haven't got any water. Oh, I'll fill up with water then. I'll do the blue job, you do the pink job. Yeah, agreed. Unless society these days would prefer that... It's a multicoloured job. We both do a purple job and get nothing done. Where are we going today then? Because the weather's nice, look. 
Nice and raining. Well, we were going to go to White Sands Beach. You're joking, aren't you? But I reckon it might just be worth taking a stroll back into St David's this morning. A stroll? It's raining. I'm not strolling anywhere. I'll drive somewhere where it's not raining. Do you remember when it last rained and we were travelling? And we did ferry pools in Isle of Skye? Yeah. That's your idea of what to do in the rain. We're not doing that again. Well, according to Apple weather, it is not raining. <laughs> oh, well, it must not be raining then. What, we got sizzling away in that pan then, Chef? We got some sausages to make some sausage backs up with. You got anything else or is that it? That's it. Do you want something else? No, I was just asking. The audience wants to know, don't they? No, just sausages today. We'll so what, what is that on the shelf next to you then, that meaty looking product? <laughs> you want some duck and tripe? Duck and tripe. Fruit and veg. Yeah. Very healthy. Not sure I want to eat it personally. I don't know, that dog eats better than we do. That dog does eat better than we do. We can't afford to eat duck. That's true. Last time I ate duck, I couldn't afford the bill. It's a beak. It's a bill. Mm. Ducks have bills. Is that called a bill? It's called a bill. Never heard that in my life. Last time I ate duck, I couldn't afford the bill. So strange. Cheap camper meals with Zara. What are we having tonight? Well, I'm just going to do a tuna pasta. How much is that going to cost? Well, we've already got the pasta. What do we need? Mayonnaise and red onion. What else? Sweet corn. What else? Pasta. What else? Tuna. Banging. How much? I know that's only going to cost like four quid, surely. Wow, no way. And how long does it take to cook? 20 minutes. You're amazing. Let's do it. Hey guys. So, Sunday is tomorrow. It's Saturday today. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. So, Saturday today and we are off to a place called Fishguard. So we're in Fishguard and we are going to go and have a look at the port which is meant to be pretty cool actually so I'm quite excited about that. Gives Kobe a little walk and the main town and that isn't very exciting here. There's not a huge amount to do. It so it's very boring so we drove on through. Yeah, but now we're at the port. So this should be good. Where are we Zara? Fishguard Fort. Well oh, we're yeah. walking towards Fishguard Fort. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. We could do a little, um, there's a rabbit there. That's probably what he smelt. Is it? Yeah, Roger. Roger the rabbit? No, Roger was the uh, squirrel. It was uh, Cecil the rabbit. Okay. Yeah. Do you not know that? No, I didn't. You just Crazy. informed me on something new. You wait till you see Harry up there. Harry the? Uh, penguin. <laughs> Fire the cannon. Right, I think... This is where Henry the Sixth chopped his leg off and fell in the sea, but I could I could be wrong. Did you read? On a more serious note, I would love to give you some information about this fort, but I'm not a historian and it's not really my place. I just like to explore these places and have a look at them, and they're cool. But this is really cool. Cannons are still here. The views are absolutely spectacular, all around panoramic views, literally panoramic views as well. Um, we've got a fish guard over there with the main ferry port. And then rocks, another little village there, and a little harbour down there, which is, we drove through that. I think we're going to probably get a coffee there. It's like, just lovely, it's just nice. And then we've got the ruins of the actual fort itself down below. So, yeah. Shelter in here. I'm not too sure where he is going now, if he's going to uh, jump off the end. What he's doing. Arch nemesis. <laughs> Stupid, isn't it? So we've arrived in Cardigan. We took a detour because it's just nicer here. Cool, have you made like charcuterie boards? Yeah. Oh, cool, I like that then. We've just been for some lovely lunch in Cardigan. It's a very nice little town with a few good shops in there. You got some new trackies, didn't you? Did I? You did get some new trackies. Oh yeah. And now we're just going to drive towards the beach. Towards and the beach? We're going to drive to the beach. We didn't uh, do much filming in Cardigan, we just didn't have time. We were there for not really that long. 
had a spot of lunch and then decided that now the weather's brightened up, we're gonna head to a place called Poppet Sands, which is just a really nice little beach about a five or 10 minute drive from Cardigan. So we're hoping it's not too busy and we're hoping the weather stays like this. So the wind here is actually really strong and the you get like that rippling sandy effect on the um, on the beach like you get in a desert where the wind blows it across the road. And it's pretty and it's nice to look at, but as a consequence, I'm getting sand all in my shoes, so. On the plus side, I'm not having any anxiety because he is not sending up the drone. No drone us. She thinks she's found something. What have you found? Hidden huts. Hidden huts? Yeah. Oh yeah. A hidden hut. That would be lovely. I'm guessing people live in that. Yeah. It's kind of pointless though, because you can't really see anything from it. No, but it is cool. This beach is like dog heaven. Dogs absolutely everywhere. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick them up. Can you see the resemblance? Zara, put your hand up. Oh, she's that one. Okay, fair enough. Um, this one seems to think he is going to find some crabs and he has just acted out being a crab um, and just did again to find them. Ten hours later, <laughs> he is still hunting for a crab. And the wanderer returns. Alright. Did you find any crabs? Yeah, loads. How many have you got? Uh, Oh, okay. You're kind, aren't you? You're kind. Where are you going then? Come on. Why? Because we need dinner. Do we? Yes. What are we having? Tuna pasta. Hello! Hello. Hello. What you got then? Waters. Waters? Twelve waters. Twelve waters? Yep. Why twelve? Because that's where they come in. No, don't. Salt and pepper chips. Right. We've had, chips. We've had chips today, though. Oh, they're not actually chips, they're crisps. All oh, right. Uh, a red onion. One. Yep, yeah, one. All right, what else? One IPA. All right. And some did... Okay. You can show us, or is this a oh, secret? Uh, mayonnaise. Well, real as well. It's not fake, net. Real. Real mayonnaise. One red onion. That's a big red onion. That's a big red onion. Don't that. Probably the second biggest red onion I've ever seen. Some toffee cheesecakes. Brilliant. One IPA. Yeah. Some Seven Ups because I wanted Seven Ups. Did you get a seven of them? I got six. Well, that's not a Seven Up, is it? That's a forty-two up. <laughs> forty-two up. Yeah. So can you be more specific next time, Sorry. please? Okay, we got a forty-two up. Yeah. Okay. Get in. We're going. Let me pack away. All right. Pack that away as well then. Get in then. I've got bits in the back. Get in the van. <laughs> I think your mummy's trying to tell me something, don't you? Inches. Brilliant. What are you doing, Cobes? You're watching out for Daddy. You're on the lookout for Daddy. This dog, I tell you, will not settle down unless his dad is in the van. Don't care about me. But as soon as his daddy leaves, no, he's on watch until he is back. Is he? Is he a good boy? I know. I know. What's this? Give me a high five. These are the views we've woken up to this morning from our campsite. Better not go down there. Look. Absolutely beautiful. So it's our third and final morning now and it's absolutely stunning out here. It's not cold, blue skies, great views over the sea, you can see all the rocks in the distance. Kobe, you think it's some breakfast? We're gonna make making a quick coffee. 
Morning. 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 And then we're gonna start heading back. Is this not the best dog you've ever seen at a campsite? There's dogs here barking around, jumping around, growling at each other. He's just sat there, absolutely chilled. Perfect, what a dog. So we parked up and we're gonna do a little walk now to see Ramsey Island, which you can actually see the distance there. There's a little, say little, it's quite a big island called Ramsey Island. And there's a little coastal path through here, which Sarah's going to try and scout out. Oh, look at all these rock formations and stuff. That's quite cool. I say we go this way. So we've got a couple of hours to kill this morning, so this is what we decided to do with our time. Look at that. Nice little view. I'll turn you around quickly. Ramsey Island. That is a sheer drop. Like I'm getting all weird. I hate it. Kobe! Right there, Matt? Yeah, going back. How far have we walked? Too far. This is like, <laughs> this bit's alright, but up there you're like on the sheer drop down to the sea. And it's making me feel weird, and he pulls as well, so yeah. I mean, to be fair, we'd only fall into the sea, which is. I think you might hit a rock on the way down. No, I wouldn't. Would you? Yeah. Like a family guy episode and you bounce back up absolutely fine. So we are now off to find another path. I can't even walk on like this without going like this. It's been all the time. There's no way I'm going to get around there without dying. <laughs> We're off to find a safe path for the... Path. Are you happy now? He's like found the safe path. Things he does for YouTube. Yep, not up here yet, but yep. And he's up. At the very beginning of the video, we made a bold statement about the area that we're in being the second best area in Wales. Now obviously it's based on our opinion and our experiences. What we meant by that was a generalisation of South West Wales being the second best. Now coastal, the coast is quite Jurassic, but once you've seen some of it, you've seen the whole lot. And other than that, there's not really a huge amount to do there. So in our opinion, North Wales, specifically Snowdonia area, is the best place in Wales to go. 